I know, we're gonna go. So I'm going to have to apologize for this helmet cam. It is uh, pretty blurry because it was a pretty chilly, rainy, misty kind of day. And um, with this being a new ride of uh, Let It Be Lee, I didn't really think to wipe my lens off before I went. Um, so unfortunately, you guys are going to have a little bit of a blurry ride with me, which actually this is kind of how it can be when it's misting. The uh, water kind of gets right in your eyes a little bit, but the goal for this round with Lee was just to have a nice kind of go um, and really start building our relationship and uh, we're coming to fence three here and you can see he kind of gets a little excited about the jumps. I'm really wanting him to have a little bit of a uh, responsibility when we're coming to the fences, so I like to ride uh, pretty soft and you'll see I'll kind of sit up make sure we're in balance we were able to get a good shot to that and again I wasn't uh, planning on making time the, the footing was a little wet here so um, you take that all into account you can see it's a little chewed up but it's still holding okay so we come to the water jumping a fence in the water you want to make sure your horse has a really good powerful canter and that we are not kind of strung out you want to jump it more so like you're jumping a vertical is the type of shape you want your horse to have and now coming to this big table is very easy for Lee again I'm working on setting a good rhythm and uh, kind of letting him figure out he can do his thing. So coming to this combination, you could take these on an angle, which you'll see. I'm kind of going at a different track than other people did. So this is saving me on some time Good and job. really getting me a feel of uh, how Lee will hold a line for me, which he did pretty well. And every now and then you'll see me look left and right. I wanted to make sure that I'm going on the right track. Uh, we walked this course pretty quickly in the morning before uh, the competition started and um, so for my division or class you'll see it's uh, white numbers on a green background that is prelim and so we're able to walk it prior so we know where we're quasi going and um, but the horses have never seen this before so now coming up to a very vertical gait again you want to make sure you have a good shape meaning that your horse is not flat and that gate also had a safety device on it called a mem clip uh, and so if the horse was to hit it hard it would give for the safety of the horses so now coming to this table combination uh, this walked in six strides I had planned on doing five and we came in a little bold and we did four but I was actually pretty pleased with how he held that line to that chevron and um, sometimes sometimes that happens on cross country and you just have to kind of react and go with it you can have to be pretty instinctual and so now we're coming to a tracaner fence which this has a ditch underneath it uh, so these types of fences you really want to gallop to they're not meant to hold um, so those will are always a nice gallop fence. And now we're coming to a uh, half coffin. Um, this has a ditch to another um, jump, and he did that very well. That was actually causing quite a bit of problems on the course. Uh, so I rode him pretty positive to that ditch, which made the distance a little tight coming out, cool. but I was very cool. pleased with that. Another roll top. Here we have a pretty good rhythm. Just letting him coast through the trees. It's pretty fun uh, riding on this course, kind of going in and out of the orchards here. And this is a hollow type combination where we go down this little bowl of uh, over that roll top and then over another narrow fence. He was pretty good. He did kind of invert a little bit there and kind of jump 
with his head up in the air. So that's something that I have to work on. Here we have a pretty good drop. That's no problem. Let me come on to another table. Kind of caught the flyer to that, but you saw his ears kind of perk up. He, he and I were on the same page, which was always good. And then this is a nice, another gallopy fence. Oh, I missed it. And I kind of Go missed away. my turn kind of going in between those trees right there, but that was okay. Coming to uh, number 19, which is a fairly big table, and oh, made that pretty light work for Lee. And we're nearing in the end of the course. Uh, we're coming to like the last Daddy combination, Daddy which Lee. is a corner combination. So we have a roll top Daddy. to a bending uh, five. And he holds yeah, his line Daddy. perfect. And now right. coming to the last fence, which you have to be kind of careful with because uh, it is on the smaller side, making sure the horses pay attention. Um, and I was overall very pleased. I think we were something like 30 seconds slow off the optimum time which uh, we have an optimum time and uh, any second over that's 0.4 time penalties so overall I was really pleased with our first run together and uh, really happy with Lee can't believe we did four to the chevron that a good boy Good job. Hi, oh, you're super. Good boy. Whew, Leroy. Good fun. Good boy, Lily. First one in the books. Stayed on her feet. I did the table to the skinny in four. <laughs> I was like, I'm going in five. And I was like, oh, no PCs to four. I did the skinny to the corner in seven. Yes, we have all of our shoes on. Well done, pony. Hello. I'm Sue. I'm with USDF drug testing. Oh. This has been oh. oh, goody. Oh, goody. All right, buddy. He's not even breathing hard. Uh, let's. You're barely winded, Lee. You want to scratch? No? Okay. Uh. Okay. Can I have that bucket of water? Yeah. I almost called you Brayden. <laughs> of course, he's just looking for grain. You can't eat right now, so juice. Me. Elisa Wallace. Uh, he is 12 this year. Let it be Lee. Let it be Lee. Oh, Bubba. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. There you go. <sighs> yes, you're a good boy. You're very good. I know. I know. 
no. Hold on. Hold on. She doesn't have cookies for you. Uno momento. Okay. I don't know. You want cookies. You know you did good. Ow. Uh, Lee, stop begging. Take this off. You're not even breathing hard. Yep, lucky number 25. He wants, dad, he's a dad. He's not even breathing hard and he wants cookies. 